back in the garage, I just want to go over something that is get a lot of questions about. So we have the DCT here, the inline six version, and we have the M52 in this car. Now the M52, the S52, the S50, the S54, the M50, all, all those engines, engines share the same bolt pattern. Now the bolt pattern on this transmission matches the N54 and the N55, S55, a bunch of other stuff. But the difference between the two is only very slight. Now for this engine to bolt to this transmission, or this family of engines to this transmission, you only need a few uh, modifications. So there's no need for an adapter spacer plate. There's no need for that big thick piece of aluminum that's expensive. We sell a flywheel that just allows you to bolt it up like normal. And then what you can do is use this, uh, the, the OEM dust plate, as a template. Because what you want to do is weld up a uh, little mound of aluminum here. And then you can just drill and tap it. And what this is going to do is create the um, starter mount. On the N54, N55, and stuff like that, this bolt is on the engine side because the engine comes up and covers like, this area. So the, the M50 uh, family of engines, I'd say, doesn't have that. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold this template up, mark your holes. I'll have Chris come over here and help me hold this so you can see. Hey, Chris, you want to come over here? So you're going to want to put the dowels, this, engine, this transmission doesn't have the dowels because they're in the engine. We put, you put the dowels in, the two main holes, which we all know are important. And then you can use this dust plate as a template to drill this hole, weld and drill. And then the starter will bolt right up like normal. Uh, you're going to bolt the engine up with this hole, this hole, and the two dowel holes. The rest of the holes don't matter. We've never run um, in the transmission fully bolted on any transmission. What did he say? On any transmission we run in that BMW engines, so you only need the four bolts and then the two starter bolts. Are slotted, so what you're going to want to do is just open the slots up so they're the complete slot. So this is actually the original slot size, and then on the front side, they get closed up a little bit factory, and so we just open them back up to be the complete slot. Um, the head of the bolt is plenty large enough to grab onto that. This flywheel setup actually has probably more use than any other flywheel setup on the market. So this is kind of the most tried and true old school solution for putting a DCT on an older BMW. Like I said, the only thing you need to do is weld this on and then kind of open these two slots up a little bit. I believe this is M10 by 1.5. Um, one other thing you gotta do is drill out the threads on the starter because originally they, cut, they bolt in from the back. But when you bolt this up, you'll bolt this side in like normal from the back and then this side you'll bolt in from the front. So I removed the threads of this so you can just thread into the case right there. So once the flywheel's in there, you're good to go. Simple solution.